Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm just gonna show you uh, my little workspace here for the collage project. Uh, the one that I'm working on, just to show for an example, is the uh, photo collage. Uh, so I think the um, the measurements on, sorry, I kicked my camera here. <laughs> I think the measurements on canvas are around six by eight. Um, I think this measured out to five by eight, but um, just roughly in that area, no strict guidelines. Um, you know, just do your best to get it in like a rectangle format around six by eight, five by eight. Um, and I, I just cut my Bristol board in half. Um, so whatever kind of comes out in half or roughly, and I think I took an inch off the bottom, which made a nice like, so I get two rectangle uh, formats. Try not to waste paper, you know? Um, so yeah, this is the last demo video. Uh, you all have been doing awesome. And uh, I know it's been a crazy year for everyone. Um, so props to, props to you all for keeping up with the work in this class. I know a lot of it might not be ideal or easy, especially for art and design, but you know, it's been cool seeing everyone keep up and, and just stick with it, you know, which is really the most important thing. So um, I kind of just have some black and white imagery here. I, I printed out some black and white photos. Um, I'll show you here. I was just kind of playing around with, there was this like Michelangelo David foot I took out of um, this here. And uh, there's this woman I cut out. So, you know, this project's pretty fun. Like just mess around. I know a lot of the work um, in the other ones is really strict. Uh, this one's pretty free. So just like experiment, feel free to just do quirky things, you know, make unpredictable decisions and, and try and surprise yourself. I think that's the, the most fun part about collage. Um, and then I, I kind of, taped off my border here, uh, which it can be kind of a pain, but it looks really good in the long run when you have, you'll see when this gets taken off and it's like a nice edge here, um, it really kind of uh, stands out. So I'm just gonna use this rubber cement stuff. You can use glue. Um, I just have this on hand, so I don't, can't find a glue stick at the moment, but uh, you know, this is not necessary for everything. It takes longer and is kind of a pain. So, uh, definitely it's good for that, um, cons what's it called? Structural constellation project. Uh, it's definitely works well for that, but for this one, not totally necessary. So I kind of cut this out to fit, you know, roughly in my border here. So you're gonna get that nice clean edge when you take the tape off. You can also just draw like an outline too. That's another way to do it, um, is to just something so you're gonna get like a nice border. And I kind of have a little gap up here. Maybe I could, you know, just maybe fill that in even just for the sake of time. You know, I could just like put something like that up there maybe. Um, so just for the foot, little foot here, just do something unpredictable. I'm just going to kind of place that there, I think is where I had it roughly. you kind of get some really weird kind of ambiguity in here now with like this foot in the foreground and then this kind of confusion with the misplacement of an image, which is what a lot of this, especially the photo collage is about, is like kind of this Dada and surrealist vibe of uh, misplacement and um, confusion and ambiguity. So you want to try and push that as much as you can. Um, might even kind of start overlapping here. I'm just gonna kind of wing it here in the video. 
and just see what happens. I'm just gonna maybe cut that a little bit so it makes kind of a clean edge, just slightly. And then maybe, you know, you can start stacking and playing with these sort of strange arrangements. So the more you kind of play around, the more you'll get some really cool results. And yeah, like I said, just, just have fun with it. You know, don't feel rushed. Give yourself time to experiment, you know, an hour or two in an afternoon. And uh, let's put this down here. I got some glue there, but definitely use a glue stick. I don't, I don't even know why I'm using the rubber cement, to be honest. Let's check it out. It's coming off a little there. So you can see kind of the impact that the edge has here. Um, you can see how it kind of, you know, frames it nicely, gives it like a nice, um, uh, nice border there. And uh, keep these, you know, people love this stuff. You could sell these when you're done this class or uh, put them on, you know, Instagram or something. And people really love these collages. Put a frame on it and uh, you have something pretty pleasing, especially with the mixed media ones that I'm not going to do demos on those, but, um, I'll talk about them in the, on the on-screen tutorial video. And, uh, yeah, these are just really nice pieces of, of work to hold on to. So that's about it. Uh, you know, pretty, pretty straightforward assignment, pretty experimental, lots of room for creativity and exploration. And I think those of you who maybe had a difficult time with, uh, the stricter projects um, might really enjoy something like this. It's more of like a free flow kind of fine art experimentation. So uh, have fun, take risks and uh, enjoy.